Hello, so today I'm going to be going over how to use Solstice at Bishop Library. So we're going to begin with opening up Solstice on the computer. We use Solstice Client, which you have to download using the instructions on the screen. And here it shows all the rooms that are available. It's accessible in almost every single building on campus, but today we're going to be focusing on mainly the libraries. So I'm going to select Study Room 2. Here I choose to cho select my desktop, which I'm going to share. And this is what it looks like on the main screen. So it shows everything that I'm doing. And if I switch between tabs, the shift between tabs will change. So I'm going to click Stop Sharing. And now I'm going to share App Window. So because I'm screen recording, I can only choose to share my screenshot. But if I wasn't, you'd be able to choose any tab. And from here, it will show you a little preview in the corner of what it looks like on the screen. And this is what it actually does look like on the screen. So the screen record doesn't show my background. It only shows the tabs. Here I'm going to click Stop Sharing and I'm going to click Media File. Here you can choose a paper or a JPEG. I chose to use Bishop Library's logo and you can choose almost anything, even PowerPoints. And this is what it looks like on the TV for showing a single media file. I'm going to click Stop Sharing All to stop sharing my media file. And now I'm going to click Layout. In Layout it chooses how you want to display your image or file on the screen. Here you don't have to do just images, you can do your desktop, your app window, but I'm going to do media library. I'm going to select the Bishop Library JPEG again, and right now it would show up on the screen. But if I move it over to the hide section, it disappears from the screen, so it's a completely black screen now. So I'm going to make it reappear, and again, this can be used with your desktop or app window or almost anything. So I'm going to go back to share, and I'm going to click stop sharing all. And now from here, we're just going to disconnect, select yes, and you're disconnected from the screen. So that's how you use Solstice Client.